Newcastle United face Liverpool at St. James Park on Sunday and Eddie Howe admitted he did not laugh at Jürgen. Klopp's previous words about his side Eddie Howe has vowed to just talk about my team following Liverpool boss Jürgen. Klopp's previous comments about Newcastle United. Klopp, unprompted, has spoken about matters ranging from Newcastle's spending power to how the Premier League's new technical area rules will affect the Magpies in the last 10 months. These remarks have coincided with Newcastle not only becoming a rival, but also the Black and Whites leapfrogging Liverpool in the table to qualify for the Champions League last season. Klopp sarcastically congratulated Newcastle on having no ceiling last October. Inferring that the club can do what they want financially, and the Liverpool manager joked how the Premier League's new rules on the technical area would only be a real problem for Howe's team earlier this month. This quip was, of course, in relation to assistant Jason Tindall no longer being able to take his usual place beside Howe on. The touchline as only one individual can now stand at the front of the technical area and coach during a match. Read more, everything Eddie Howe said at his press conference ahead of facing Klopp and Liverpool at St. James Park on Sunday. Howe said that he would never talk about another club openly because it is nothing to do with me and is none of my business. So has the Newcastle boss been amused by Klopp's differing approach? I wouldn't say I laugh at the comments, the Newcastle boss told reporters as he shuffled in his seat. Other people can have opinions. That's fine. I've got no issue with that. You just sort of roll with it. Let it go and just talk about my team. Neither manager felt the need to fan the flames ahead of Sunday's huge game. Klopp referred to Newcastle as an incredibly strong team in his own pre match press conference and said the Magpies. Success was fully deserved following the club's super development under Howe. Howe, similarly, called Liverpool an elite team with an elite manager and stressed he had a huge amount of respect for Klopp and his coaching staff. However, the Newcastle head coach chuckled when asked if he had a relationship with Klopp. I don't really have a relationship with any manager, he said. In competing against them. I find it very difficult to have personal relationships with competitors. I've been the same as a player. I was not one to talk to players before a game, people who I knew on other teams. I draw a line and that is just how I have always been. As I said, I respect Jürgen a lot. I think he's done an incredible job. He's an unbelievable football manager, but I draw the line at friendships because they don't exist for me. While, in theory, only three points are at stake, and it is still so early in the season, how was the first to admit that Newcastle were desperate to do well in this game, knowing big wins carry momentum for longer. Liverpool remain the only traditional big hitter how has yet to take a point off as Newcastle boss and the Black and Whites have suffered some painful moments against Klopp's side, whether it was Fabio Carvalho's dramatic 98th minute winner. At Anfield or Nick Pope's red card at St. James nearly five months later, which ruled the goalkeeper out of the Carabao Cup final. There was certainly no love lost during the reverse fixture last season when both benches clashed and Newcastle were even booed off by Liverpool supporters at full time. So has how felt the rivalry between the two clubs ramp up in the last 12 months? I don't know. Has it? He questioned. The rivalry between Newcastle and Liverpool has always been there historically. I don't think it's ramped up particularly any more than it's always been. Historically, it's been a game where everyone would say I want to watch that. There will be moments and flashpoints because it's two iconic clubs going against each other. 